Hello and welcome to episode 144 of Vokta Gaming. I am your host, the vocal terrorist, Jesse Rain, and we are here with the final and deciding game between these two Terrans. First up, in the purple, winning the first game with a very aggressive style, but being taken down in the second game, his name is Fnatic Alive. And opposing him in the blue, winning the second game with his much more well-known Marine Tank Pressure Heavy style, his name is Marine King Prime. So here we are. It's going to be really interesting to see how today goes. Because we have seen two great games. Obviously, Fnatic Alive in that first game, in game one, absolutely incredible pressure play. So, so mobile and aggressive with his mainly Bioforce against Marine King Prime's mech. Marine King Prime in the second game, however, using his Marine Tank style to contain Alive. And to get more bases, um, and just to basically kill him, just to whittle him down and whittle him down to the point where Alive just had no answer. Now, again, Marine King Prime is going for the factory build, so possibly Banshees. Uh, barracks being built in a strange location, perhaps hoping that Alive won't scout it, that Alive will, in fact, think he's doing a proxy rack, but Alive is, in fact, proxy racking himself. Now, excuse me a second. <coughs> oh, some artosis level commentary there, uh, as he's also quite sick this week, and has been coughing his way through the GSL. Uh, by the way, if you've not been watching the GSL, ah, uh, you should be, it's amazing. Uh, also, you should be watching Off The Record, it took me a while to get into it, but Off The Record is now amazing. I just watched uh, Nesty play against John the Translator and some guy off the North American server, called Big Boss Prime, something like that, it was, it was so much fun. So that's something I definitely, uh, definitely recommend you guys do. Of course, we have MLG Spring Arena, that starts tonight, uh, that will in fact have started by the time this video goes live, no doubt, I'm looking forward to that, that is going to be wicked. Uh, I will be at the... Uh, finals of that at the or not at the finals of that. God, I wish I was at the finals of that. I will be at a barcraft in Manchester at the Kyoto Lounge for the finals of that. Now back to this game because I really want to talk about this. Uh, Alive is going for this early Marauder pressure again, except this time just going with one Marauder seems a bit early. One Marauder and one SCV uh, is not really enough. Uh, Concussion Shield isn't finished at this point. Of course, MKP going for this really greedy build. And it means Alive has seen the starport going down with the tech lab, so he knows Banshees are the follow up. Uh, that bunker gets stopped. Breaking Climb, though, forced to pull SCVs again. So this is a really nice opening from Alive. I've enjoyed watching this. Something I haven't really seen out of any players before this two Marauder push out of a proxy racks. And wow, a lot of SCVs going down here at this point now. We have a Hellion out, but uh, that's not going to be too much help uh, as a third Marauder comes to join it. So we now have three Marauders in the main base. Going to kill that Marine very, very quickly. And now they're going to get to kill a load more SCVs. This is really, really nice from Alive. Marine King Prime has the starport finished, but he can't make a Banshee because he can't afford it. All of these SCVs have been pulled for so long that uh, he simply does not have the money or the gas to build a bounty right now. Now finally, these Marauders are going to be killed off. But not before they did a ton of that. Look at that, 11 workers killed. And 3 units, that's 2 Marines and I believe 1 Hellion taken down. So really nice work out of Alive here. Now a Banshee's on the way, but back at home we have 2 more Barracks up. We have Marines out. Uh, interesting, he's going to research Combat Shield first from here, and is making a Reaper from it. Very nice. Bunker going up at home, stops the Hellions getting in, because of course he knew the Hellions were coming, so again, really nice play. Alive is just totally, totally solid. I'm really liking it, and his one base attacks, his early pressures are really nice. Marine King Prime now, this Banshee should do nothing, and of course, uh, he's taken him this long to expand. Now my only criticism is, of course, that Alive 
has not expanded himself, but he has done that SCV damage, so there is time for him to go ahead and do that. Interesting that Marine King Prime is still not scouted this barracks. Uh, I do not believe. Yep, hasn't even checked down this way, despite the fact that he has Hellions. So, we have the Banshee out now, uh, but there's a nice group of Marines here with Combat Shield. Obviously, they do not have Stim yet. Stim is on the way from that barracks. Now, if Marine King Prime could scout it and stop this from happening, that would give him some nice timings. Uh, this Banshee, of course, can do some damage before Stim finishes. It can kite these Marines, but it does keep getting caught. It does keep losing health. It's now down to about half health. We have a command center going up and a factory now, along with the second refinery for Fnatic Alive. So it's really going to stump down that lane. Holy crap though, Marine King Prime, I need to show you this quick. Building a third command center, so he's going to have three in total. Knows he's in trouble, knows he's really behind. And wants to do something risky to catch up. And I cannot disagree with that. That's a really good move by Marine King Prime. If he can take a third base and hold it, or even in fact a lot of... Uh, Terran players aren't even using this for the third base to begin with. Just using it to produce extra SCVs till their first two bases are saturated and of course using it for mules. Now we see Marine King Prime adding more barracks and going to drop this style put down and start making medevacs. Looks like he's going to switch into his Marine Tank style. Uh, the Banshee really did nothing of note. Has two kills so far but uh, not the best start. It was delayed so far uh, by a live's attack. Now this is nice. Going to get a few more kills here. Up to four kills now, but it's taking so much damage. Five kills, seven kills now. Ah, oh, but these marines are going to catch it. Fourteen hit points. Ah, oh, eight hit points. That is close. Stim is finished, by the way, for a live. So Marine King Prime really lacks in scouting out that barracks down here. Uh, really not too sure on that move whatsoever. Now Alive managing to chase away a Hellion and some Marines with just three Marines. So very nicely done. This Orbital Command is about to finish for Marine King. So once again, his economy could theoretically skyrocket, but Combat Shield only just on the way now. I cannot stress to you enough how far behind that initial pressure put Marine King Prime. He lost so much mining time, he lost so many SCVs. But uh, more than that, it delayed his Banshee attack to the point where the Banshee attack did nothing of note. And which of course delays the Marine tank push. So everything uh, Alive is doing is just absolutely spot on right now. That Banshee is still out there. Is there a missile turret down? Nope. We do have an engineering way obviously, but no missile turrets going down yet. Feels quite confident that that Banshee is not going to be doing any more harassing. And with 7 hit points, there's not a great deal it can do. This barracks set, uh, now having done all of its upgrading, goes in, scouts the bunker, scouts the marine tank composition, scouts the extra 2 gases going down. So he can theorise that there will soon be another factory on the way. Now, uh, the one thing uh, Live does not know about is this third command centre that is right now building SCVs. We have a double eBay on the way from Marine King Prime, so getting 1-1. Uh, of course, Alive already has plus 1 weapons, so if he'd gone straight into plus 1 armor, they would have been completely even on upgrades once those finished, and he could have by then added a second eBay and an armory. As it is, Marine King Prime getting siege tech, but Alive's is first, and now Alive dropping into the back of the main base, and uh, just a barracks gang at the front. E. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm really out of it. I'm really, really tired and some stuff's going on uh, in my personal life. But anyway, ignoring all that, 22 workers killed now. Really, really nice move by Alive. That's going to help even up the work count. There we go, 46 to 30. Uh, but that third mule will definitely even that up. That third mule worth so, so much for Marine King. Now the question is, what way does Alive go from this? He is right now supply block. Uh, he cannot make out of certain barracks. That is really bad. Dropping three supply depots at once. And now finally starting plus one armor. Uh, unfortunately, that is going to put him behind Marine King. Because Marine King has that double eBay. Now, here we go. A four medevac drop. Three of them uh, pretty much full. 
But there are Marines waiting for it. Do they stim? They don't have stim. Reeking Prime so far behind on those upgrades. So a stim from Alive. Can really do some damage. There's a tank with this as well. Absolutely fantastic moves here. Alive. Oh, he's going to pick off the engineering bay. Oh, plus one attack goes down. Oh, absolutely excellent. By Alive. So plus one armor going to finish for Marine King, but Alive already has plus one attack, so that cancels that out, and Alive is going to get plus one armor before Marine King gets that plus one attack. That was a great, great move there. Now, this one medevac is just going to sit around here and wait and see perhaps what it can do. Uh, the rest of the medevacs healing up these units as they step forward to take the Zonaga Watchtower. Now, from the looks of it here, let's just take a look at the units tab. We have 52 SCVs to 33, but with that extra mule, uh, we still have that one Banshee doing nothing. Two tanks and 34 Marines against three tanks and 41 Marines. MKP's in trouble. Like, he needs to do something. This drop is going down in the back of the base yet again. More and more SCVs being taken down. And look at that. Doesn't lose a single unit. Ah, oh, unless he catches his medevac. No, he doesn't. One Marine stimming forward to check. Now, Marine King Prime has rebuilt um, that second eBay, so he is now getting plus one attack, so getting plus two armor. Oh, but holy crap, Alive just bypasses the bunker, bypasses the siege tank lines. Alive is just going to kill him. Alive going in for the kill here. Siege tank's doing so much damage, my computer freezing up. And the siege, the tank's not even seized at this point. Marine King Prime is being destroyed. He's in amongst the production facilities, and he just doesn't have the units to fight back. Alive with the constant pressure, that initial attack by Alive putting MKP so far behind, the Banshee's doing nothing, Ricky Prime may well clear this up, but that is going to be pretty much game I'm afraid, 130 supply to 49, over double the supply right now, we still have these Marines at the back of the base taking down supply depots, taking down SCVs, we take a quick look, up to 52 workers killed, 58 SCVs to 22, Sorry, MKP, but you've got to get out. Alive is taking this game 2-1. Guaranteed it. If he loses from this position, well, he doesn't deserve to be a pro gamer, to be quite frank. Here we go. Loading up now the Medoax with his entire unit. He's added the third command setter. He's getting his upgrades. Look at this. Uh, the eBay here with plus two attack on the way. An armory with plus one for the siege tanks. And here he goes, just dropping in. He has so much, he can take the time to siege up. And once he's sieged, nothing Rinking Prime can do. There's the GG. Alive takes this series 2-1. to one. Incredible. Turning Rinking Prime's own tactics against him with the heavy pressure style. Really, really nice to see. So that's Rinking Prime losing his Code A match and losing to Alive. Uh, Real question marks now on whether or not Marine King Prime is going to make it back into Code S. He's in the up and down matches. They are going to be tough. There's a lot of good players in there. There's guys like MMA in there. There's guys like Polt in there. You know, there are these top, top class players in that group. Realistically, I still think he's going to make it to Code S. But Marine King Prime is not showing the same kind of skill that he showed at the previous two MLGs, or in fact the previous three MLGs, because he got to the finals of the last one and won the previous two. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. That is it for this week. I'll be back on Tuesday with Vokta Plays Planescape Torment Episode 3, where I will not spend 33 minutes looking for a door, I promise. And then, of course, I'll be back on Wednesday with more pro games of StarCraft 2. Hopefully, as well, I will no longer be sick. God damn, I am sick of being sick. Uh, once again, thank you for watching. I've been the, your host, the vocal terrorist, Jesse Rain. Have a very nice weekend. Enjoy the GSL Codos Finals. Enjoy MLG Spring Arena. If you're in Manchester, join me on Sunday at the Kyoto Lounge for the Manchester Spring Arena Barcraft. Have a good night.